What's up, YouTube? Like they say, one man's trash is another man's treasure, right? Where energy is lost is where energy is gained. Sex, money, murder, man. This is in drugs. This is crime land. This is America. So wherever the, the energy is lost, whether it be pimping, it's just massive energy lost with that. Again, you lose a, a pint of iron-infused blood when you have an orgasm as a male. That's so much energy lost dedicated to regenerating those fluids that were lost. So that's massive energy loss. So it, it turns into what we call money. That energy is transitioned into money and it's gained by whoever's pimping or whoever the prostitute is. Well, you know, I went, I went there first because that's one of the first professions. So then we move on to, because we're on sex, money, murder here. And you got drugs and murder. It's all murder, really. But drugs, you got everybody chasing that high. They're giving up energy to get energy. You know, they're giving up whatever they got to do to go to school or I mean, go to work, get a, you know, get their job or whatever, just to feed this addiction. They're creating a reality where the addiction is nearby, whatever they have to do to be close to this comfort that they have with a substance that keeps them at a certain level. It drops their energy. People say they're getting high, but they're really getting low. So the energy is being lost there. So with that said, the dealer, he, he's now getting the energy. He's now picking up that energy. But a lot of cases, again, like a pimp, a lot of dealers, a lot of sociopathic people, a lot of psychopathic, sociopathic individuals, so they, they're parasites themselves. So they're, they're just being used to carry something out. They're just, they're just conduits for something. You know, they're just vessels receiving all this energy. It's just like, you know, a female... I feel like they take offense if, if, if you as a male don't, don't want to have an orgasm. Like, they almost take offense to it. So, like, they, they get that energy at some level. They don't get all of it, but it's coming through them. Oh, that's, that was terrible how I said that, coming through them. But anyway, it's, I, that's all I'm saying is that the energy is, they, like, a pimp is getting some of the energy. They're not getting all of it. You know, they're just coming through them. It's just like people blowing money. It's just like a car that is getting terrible fuel economy. Like, they might be getting a bunch of energy, but they're not using the energy to the fullest potential that they could. It's going somewhere else. They're just being used to draw the energy through them to be drawn further from them. So, again, it'd be like a million people suffering for one person. A million people chasing a high so one person can live lavish. And then they might not even be living lavish. Like I said, they're sociopaths and psychopaths. So they got they might be living on P's and Q's. If you flipping birds, you flipping kilos. It's you know it's that's a rough it's a rough mentality to maintain. You know I mean you you know if you're at a certain level and you're getting money and you're so established and everybody owes you favors, it might be a little different than somebody that's just you know got ten million stashed up in a safe spot or something like that. I'm talking about like big niche style, like that person. Might feel, they feel differently than the person that has a few million or, you know, uh, even a hundred million. Because Big Meech is a billionaire, like, or was a billionaire. Spent billions, made billions, and the feds let him operate from the late 80s till 2008. Because he was stimulating entire cities, economies across the country. This is crime land, this is drug land, whether it's legal or illegal. Where the energy lost is where the energy is gained, that's where the money is. So whether it's pharmaceuticals. You know, they'll blow up some towers, go to Afghanistan and, and take the opium and bring it back for pharmaceuticals and, and, and all that good stuff. Blood sacrifice. Like, you know, it's, it's, it's all about blood sacrifice and transitioning energies. That's, a, that's what a lot of this is, man. That's really what it is. Where the energy is lost is where the energy is gained. So, you know, you have a huge distraction. Somebody blow up some towers, kill thousands of people, and then... Hundreds more die as a result of the fact, after the fact, from the asbestos and all that, and, and all that horrible stuff. And it's such a distraction, and the more people die, the better. Like, it's just the more of a distraction. So all that energy from that, all the fervor from that, then you get this war energy. You get people to, to take, take things on that they wouldn't have normally taken on. So you go to war, then it's basically a huge drug deal. You're going out there... And, you know, you're bringing the opium back for the, uh, the prescription meds. 
that everybody's on, oxymorons everywhere. Um, and then you, you, uh, you're selling heroin too. Like people thought it changed. Like why was the same thing the reason we was in Vietnam? We were in Vietnam for the opium. Like there's only so many places where that, that's growing, where the poppy's going to grow. And you can look at the Iran Contras, you can look at Freeway Ricky Ross. Can't believe Rick Ross took that guy's name. Like Freeway Ricky Ross, the real Rick Ross from Long Beach, California. Teacher, a teacher put him on to the cocaine business. And then he was ended up buying he was buying um cocaine from a CIA agent. And they were funding some war. And it's just that real, man, where the energy's lost is where the energy is gained, man. And that's what you gotta know. And most biggest the most of the biggest drug dealers People, they know, even the lower level ones, the feds know. It's just the country is ran on drugs. The whole place is ran on a loss of energy. This whole econ world economy is lost, ran on people losing energy and then it turning into something else. Like they say, stocks are more manipulated by the perception of the stock than the actual business and how they're doing. You know, you get, like they said, uh, somebody shot at Obama in the White House a few months back or something like that. You know, I'll be half paying attention to that garbage. So then the stocks just dropped, and then when they, when they found out that it was a farce, the stocks rose. And you know, it's just financial terrorism. You know, I mean, the energy—it's just all about perception and the energy we give off and what we give our energy to, and we make things manifest with our energy because will is nothing without energy. So we use that to make things manifest. So whether it's a fear energy you're giving off, anxiety energy, um, high intensity of happiness. It all makes certain things manifest accordingly, you know, according to the emotion that you put behind it, what you emote, you know. Getting things in, in motion stimulates emotion. So, you know, that's, it's just kind of that simple, where the energy is lost is where the energy is gained. One man's trash is another man's treasure.